Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap and we are here with Technique Tuesday. So today we are recording on the summer solstice. So we are playing bocce ball. She's not, I am. But that is my team. Oh, that's my teammate and the two behind them. So we're going to be playing for, I don't know what we're playing for. Maybe scrapbooking supplies. I don't know if they would Bragging like that. Rights. Bragging rights. Okay, fine. Place your bets now. Place your bets and by the end you'll know who won. Okay, here we go. All right, so today we're gonna to do a simple, pretty simple technique. We are actually going to be taking our wooden buttons. So this is just a few of them, but this is what the buttons look like. There's a lot more inside with hearts and everything like that, the wooden buttons. So we've got, got a handful here. And we're also going to be taking our mink twine. So this is the twine. Um, this is a lot skinnier than the twine used to be. So um, I know people didn't like it because it was so thick or people loved it because it was so thick. Um, but it is skinnier now. However, you can still pull it apart string by string if you want. But we're going to do a super simple technique today, threading buttons. So I'm just going to show you, these are bigger holes. So um, on the smaller ones, it's a little bit more challenging. That's what I'll show you on this one. Um, but threading this is actually really simple with this twine because it's so nicely woven together that you can actually just stick it right through the holes. So you can actually get a really cool look to it. So you can kind of just stick it through these holes like this and even just doing something small like this. And you see, I can actually save some twine by pulling this back through. Doing something small and simple like this on a page actually will give it a lot of cool dimension. Um, so this is, uh, that's not the, the, it's the micro tip, not the nonstick. Um, so once you have that, you snip it and then you can just put a glue dot or something and have that on your page. But you can see how that really picks up a lot and it just looks cool. It really gives it a different look than just having a normal button on the page. So that's that. And we're going to show you a sample of that too. So those are the two buttons that are similar. And like I did, I just cut that and it's super simple then to just stick this through you're gonna have to get it th through there but and pull a little it might unwind slightly but you can kind of see that it is pretty easy to get through if you have a clean cut so or what you can even do is you can pull these apart and then put them through one at a time whatever you want another cool look to kind of get the same feel so those are the only two that have that so I'll use one of these is not even putting it through, but making it appear as if it's gone through. So if I do this and I tie a knot, take my scissor, cut it here, and then I do give it this cool effect of um, shredding some of this twine. Just kind of pull all these little strings apart, give it a cooler look. And then I actually just take a micro glue dot and I glue dot it onto here it looks as if I have now threaded it through both sides and tied a knot. However, I've taken out that step of having to try and get it through and I've now just put it on top and it gives it the same kind of effect as doing that, but just without the bulk. But with something like this, you do wanna make sure that it is through and then you just glue it down with a glue dot. So that is that. And we are going to show you some examples in a book so you can kind of get a feel for what the buttons look like when this happens in an album. So this is just a sample of them on the page that doesn't have any twine in it. You can see that they also look really, really cool just like that. But then we also have here. So you can see that it's just a little glue dot on top and we've kind of untwined them and put the little ribbon there. This is also another cool thing. These are stickled. So we just threw some t stickles on top and it gives, once again, the buttons a completely different look. Here's another sample down in this corner over here. Let's see if I can pull this up a little. It's in an album, so it's a little harder. This is just super simple. That has some stickles on it, but then we've got our button there that is one of the um, four hold ones, but it does it just has that knot on top of it. And it looks really, really pretty the way that it is done on that page. So those are just some samples. Oh, I was just gonna say, um, if you don't have twine, you can use stickles to make lines oh. across them too. 
Yep, or you could even use both the either the silver or the um, gold embellishing thread that we also have. That would be something cool. And with that too, you can kind of, we'll play maybe a little bit with that next week. Um, you can make some cool swirlies with those and put them behind the buttons and things like that too. Yes. So that's another technique we should show because sometimes people don't know how to use the embellishing thread. But that is just our simple, simple technique with our wooden buttons and twine. And that's Hacking Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know. So as we said, our summer solstice games were going on and my team lost. Sad day. So, <laughs> but there's always next time. Bye. And remember, our virtual weekend is still up for July, the 23rd to the 26th. Um, there are spots, obviously, because it is virtual. And we mm -hmm. are really getting, looking forward to getting everything out. So we already have most of it packaged up. Yes. Where the people have signed up, so we're super excited. Yeah, and if you want to sign up, sign up, because sign-ups can only be taken mm -hmm. until the July. Second? Was it the 2nd the 9th? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'll make sure that I post I that. I think it was the 5th, but... <laughs> somewhere around there because we have to order the supplies so we have to make sure that we get them to then send them out to you yes. and all that so and the post office even though um, things are opening back up it has been a little bit slow so we've got to make sure that we get it out mm -hmm. to you and all the supplies we currently have have been counted for so we have to put another order in too yes. so all right I guess that's everything we'll see you next Tuesday bye, bye. start again Lots because it's virtual. Obviously. He's the one of the winners. Who won? I already said you guys. Did you win? No! Oh, you lost. <laughs> huh. You. There's the other winner. Did you win? <laughs> I didn't play. I was a spectator. Yes. He won. Oh boy. <laughs> Men. <laughs> We're allowed to say that. We're scrapbookers, right? Okay. Point two. <laughs> that remainder is zero. Woohoo! We're going on a cruise. We're going on a cruise. Joining those two. Yes. And one that's not up there. There's two that are not up there. Two that are not up there. Yahoo! Wow. Happy hands. Yay! Happy hands.